Part 5. Shooting Sporting in a Squad I'm going to start, first of all, by showing you a particular layout, and I'm not going to be doing it in a squad, and there are some things about it I want to explain to you. I'm going to be using this layout called Sporting Mixed Layouts. I don't know who laid that out, but whoever did, set up some parameters, which are, here's the list of targets. You can shoot a quartering target right to left, an away target, a tower away, a tower driven, a driven, and a rabbit. Now, when you are shooting this as a single user, you can pick any one of these particular targets, such as quartering right to left, and when you click the start button and start shooting, you can shoot that target until you're tired of it. Then when you come back and open the target window again, you can select another target and go ahead and do the same thing. However, if you come up here and select round and then hit the start button, what's going to happen is, and this is because the way this person designed this particular layout, is that you will take five of the same targets before you move on. So opening the window here, when you start in the round mode, you're going to get five quartering right to left targets, followed by five away targets, followed by five target away targets, and so forth. And so in this case, you will take 30 shots before you complete the round. So when we do this in squatting, the only difference is going to be there are two people. So when the first person steps up to take the shot, they will get five quartering right to left targets. And after having taken five, then the second shooter in my squad will take five of the same kind of shots before it moves on to the away target. Let's go ahead and, and get this started now. We're going to go ahead and go into the squatting mode. And I do that by clicking on File. Come down and click on Start squad session. I'm going to go ahead and pick out the squad of two, which is Peter and Ralph. And partly the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to shoot for both of these shooters in a squad formation, and I already have their guns aligned. Now I'm going to come down and click on OK. And that brings me to the squad login uh, dialog box. And so I'm going to check and make sure that I think everything is right. And notice here that Peter is going to shoot first. Ralph is going to shoot second. I could change that around, but that's how I'd like to do it. I'm then going to go ahead and check to see what the targets are. So knowing what this does in singles, in the round mode, I know that I'm going to get five quartering targets right to left, followed by five aways, followed by five towers, and so on and so forth. And Ralph is going to get the same thing. Now, over in the shotgun area, I have already pre-selected the sporting gun for Peter, and I've also pre-selected the sporting gun for Ralph, but you can see how, if your gun was not selected, how simple it is to open this window and select the one that you want. Okay, now I'm about ready to go, so I'm going to click on OK. And now, up here it says, Peter, it's your turn. Notice, look down here on the left-hand side. This rose-colored area indicates who is the shooter. Here is the scoring area for Peter's shots. So as he hits some targets, you'll see this increment. And so I'm ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead here in a moment, mount my gun, and I'm going to call for a target and shoot in Peter's behalf. Pull. Okay, first target. Notice that over in the... Peter area, it shows that he has scored one. Notice in the top, in the target number, it shows that target number two is ready to be shot. Pull. All right, Peter took his second shot. Now here's his third shot. Pull. Pull. All right, now this next shot will be Peter's fifth shot. And we'll see then, after he takes the shot, that the rose-colored area on the left will move on down to Ralph, showing that it's Ralph's turn. Pull. You can see that's what has happened. And it is now Ralph's turn. Pull. 
pull. Okay, Ralph, third shot. Pull. Pull. Okay, now this will be Ralph's fifth shot. And notice then, as Ralph takes his fifth shot, the orange color on the left will move back to Peter, indicating that it's Peter's turn, but it'll change from the quartering right to left target to the away target. So here we go. Pull. All right. Now also notice in the top that this shows that this is the sixth target for Peter, and this will be an away target. Pull. 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 All right, and that's the final shot I'm going to take. I missed the third shot for Peter. Now we're going to move on, and I'm going to show you how to bring this to a stop in a different way. Normally, you would continue until all each shooter had shot his 30 targets, but I'm going to stop this round now by clicking on Finish Round. And that brings me to the squad results dialog box. Now I'm going to explain how this works. The upper portion here that is now highlighted is a summary area that is for your convenience so that after you finish a round, you could look at the summary information for your particular, in this case it would have been 30 targets, but in our case, uh, Peter took 8 targets and Ralph had only shot 5. And the summary information can be printed out along with the individual target by target information. And that's printed out on an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper. The top half having the summary information, which is shown here, and the bottom half has the uh, target by target information. It's also possible up here on the top to click on the shooter. If I click on Ralph, now all of this summary information on the top has to do with Ralph. If I'd like a printout, I select the shooter that I want, I come to the bottom and I click on print. And that'll print an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, everything about Peter's round. If on the other hand I wanted Ralph's information, I can highlight Ralph and come down and click on Ralph. Now you can also see down here that there's a print all button. So if both people would like their information, all you have to do is to come down and print all and it'll print two individual sheets of information. And then finally, your last option is you could save the information as a PDF file instead of printing it at that point in time. Perhaps you don't happen to have a printer uh, connected to your computer at the time that you're shooting. You could save it as a PDF file and then later print it. Now, when you do the save as PDF, it saves all of the shooters in one file. So in this case, there it would be there would be two sheets worth of information in one file which means that later if you wanted to print it you can either print both pages or you can selectively print one or the other page the reason why this is important is because this is the only time that this information will be available if you do not choose to print it or save it when this squad result screen comes up and then you click on the OK button, you've lost the information forever. So make sure that you either print it or save it in a PDF for your later use. OK, I'm going to click on OK. When I click on OK, notice that what it does is it goes right back to the squad login. And if you'd like to shoot another round, all you have to do to shoot another round is to go ahead and click on OK. And when you click on OK, Everything gets cleared out, and you're right back to the point where you're ready to go. And I hope this helps you, and we'll be talking to you again.